So now we're going to do question D, or question 19D, sorry. And this question asks, what is the 66th percentile? What X score is associated with the 66th percentile? So the first step, step one, we have to find our interval widths. And I know that this interval that I'm looking at, the score has to be here because a score of seven and a half is associated with the 60th percentile and 60 is less than 66. And I know that eight and a half is associated with the 72nd percentile and 72 is more than, than, six, uh, than 66. So what I do for the, for the width on x, I take eight and a half minus seven and a half and that is equal to one. And I do the same for the percentiles. I take the top, 72, and I minus the bottom, which is 60, and I get 12. Step two, I need to find how far into the category in the percentiles, how far down from 72 do I need to go to get 66? So the top is 72, the bottom is 60, and I'm trying to figure out where is the 66. So from 72 to 60, that is 12. This part is what I'm, what I'm asking. What proportion, what percentage of the distance do I need to go down uh, of this category? So I take 72 minus 66 and divide it by 12. And what that does, that gives me uh, 6 divided by 12, which is 0 0.5. Step three, I need to find that corresponding proportion on the x, um, the x column or the x scores. And now rem I'll take 0 0.5 from here and multiply it by the interval width, width, which right now is one. This isn't always going to be the case. And so I've got 0.5. And for step four, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go from eight and a half is the upper real limit and 7.5 is the lower real limit. And I'm trying to figure out what that score is right there. So I take 8.5 and subtract 0.5 and I get eight. The conclusion I make is the 66th percentile is associated with x equals 8.